What's up guys, um, back with another tech review today. Um, we're gonna take a look at a company called Aki and um, we're gonna be looking at fast charging for the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8. Um, so Aki is a tech company that I discovered right around the time that the iPhone 8s came out because um, I was always planning on getting the 10 and I wanted to do the wireless fast charge but because because I wanted to do um, the fast charge. And if you've bought any iPhone ever, you know, it comes with this. This is five watts. This is awful. This is the slowest charger in the history of chargers. Probably not really, but in this case it is. Um, so then anybody who's owned an iPad since the very first generation iPad, We've gotten this. This is a 12 watt charger. And if you're like me and just about everyone else that I know, if you've had an iPad, you've used this to charge your phone over all these years because it charges two to three times faster. And it, just, it seems like it instantly charges up compared to this little guy. So Apple recently with the past couple MacBooks and MacBook Pros, have started going to USB-C charging. <clears throat> so they were building things like this, but much larger, that would charge at 46 watts and would use USB-C out. So technically to do fast charge, you have to have a USB-C out on your plug. Apple has their own. It is a 29 watt charger, about twice the size of this. Sells for $49.95 in the Apple Store or Target or wherever you go to buy it. It's, it's 50 bucks. Aki and a couple other companies. Um, I have Aki because of the good reviews. They're really super cool on Twitter, would talk to me. Um, so they, they kind of won me over. So here I have the PAY8 fast charger. This is very small, um, it's got a matte finish to it, it's really cool, USB-C out. This one over here is the PAY11, a little larger. As you can see, it's got a USB and a USB-C. The, the USB, it does a quick charge, um, so you've got 30 watts coming out of your USB-C and 18 watts coming out of the uh, normal USB. So both of these are faster than this. Both of these will charge two devices faster than this will charge one. Um, I don't think I mentioned it, but the PAY8, which is slightly smaller, maybe five or six bucks cheaper, is 27 watts out. So USB-C wise, 30, 27. So we're going to put those to the test. Um, but to go with that, you also have to have a USB-C to lightning cable. Specifically, you have to have Apple's USB-C to lightning cable because only Apple's cable is MFI certified to do fast charge. Just one of those things that Apple has hanging over everyone's head um, that it, you at least have to have their cable. This is the standard three meter cable it's $25. This is a very nice, very cool looking braided USB-C to lightning by a company called Merchants. Merchants. Something. Anyway, this will not do fast charge. This was $6.99. This will charge your phone. This will charge slower than this. In some cases, this will charge with a, a, a fast charge, will charge slower than this. My iPad Pro, as long as the iPad Pro is turned on, it will fast charge with the correct products. This was creeping along even slower than the iPad charger itself, the 12 watt. Coming from a 30 watt through this, or a 12 watt through a normal USB to lightning, it charged quicker that way. Blew my mind. Um, now, I will give them props. Um, 
they don't say on their Amazon listing that this will fast charge. It does say that it will work with the iPhone 8, the iPhone 10, the, um, the iPad Pro second generation. The reviews say this works flawlessly with fast charge. Doesn't. It's a lie. Um, so I purchased it because, like I said, $6.99. Got it in two days. Did not work. I messaged them. I'm like, hey, you know, I, I kind of don't want this anymore. It doesn't work. They're like, oh, well, it, it totally should. You know, they emailed me back promptly within like a couple hours. I said, it, it should definitely work with the fast charge. We don't know why it's charging like that. Let us send you another one. I was like, I kind of just like to get my money back. They sent me a refund through Apple. And they sent me another cable. Same result. But I got my money back and I got two cables. If I'm in a pinch or if um, I can't find this, the dog chews it up. If one of the kids does something with it, um, I can use this to charge in the meantime until I can get another one. With Apple, um, I use the Apple app. I got this within a one business day. Um, paid zero for shipping, so that's pretty cool. But um, let's, let's give these things a go. Okay, so we're gonna test out the Aki PAY8, and I'm going to charge my iPhone 10 for 20 minutes, and we'll see how this one does. This is the smaller of the two. All right, just plug the phone in, and we are on 41%. So, hey Siri, set a timer for 20 minutes. Okay, your timer is set for 20 minutes. And then we'll see what the percentage is at the end of the 20 minutes. It's probably super loud, so we are 20 minutes. And the time on it, 66%. So we went from 41% to 66% in 20 minutes. Um, and that is with the 27 watt Aki charger, the PAY8. Next, we will check out the 30 watt Aki PAY11. So it should charge a little bit quicker and we'll do the same 20 minute test. All right, so we just plugged in. We are at 65%. And we are going to set another timer for 20 minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for 20 minutes. Roger that. T minus 20 minutes and counting. All right, so she saw in the video, the PAY8 charged my iPhone 10. 25% from 41% to 65% in 20 minutes. Um, it's pretty good. A lot faster than these guys. The PAY11 charged 30% um, in the same amount of time. So 27 watt to 30 watt charged just a little bit more as to be expected. Fast charge is fantastic. I use it on both of my devices, my 10 and my iPad Pro. My wife uses it on her 10. Um, so there you go. I definitely recommend Aki's products. They even make, you know, um, they make power hubs. They, they do all kinds of stuff. Um, I just did a video on lenses for the iPhones and they make lenses for iPhones. They make tiny little drones. They, um, they make their own cables. They do not make this cable because Apple does not MFI certify any other brands. But once they do, and Aki starts making their own cables, I'll throw this thing away, and I will buy multiple Aki cables because I think their company's fantastic. Um, this is in no way an endorsement to that company. Um, also, they do back their products, at least all the products that I have of theirs, um, with a 24-month warranty, and you can go and 
on their website and create an account and register them. They come in the packages with these cool little key stickers. You can kind of peel it off, stick it on whatever you want. Um, you would, I, I don't remember if you scan it or what, but you'll type in all the details from the device itself and they will warranty that product for you. I warrantied my very first Aki charger, which is not either of these. I have a PAY8. I don't remember. I think it's a 27 watt. Didn't review it because they no longer make it. Um, it fast charges. It does incredibly well. But the cool thing is, is that it looks like this with your USB-C. There's another hub that plugs into the USB-C and has two USB outs for 3.0 quick charge. You pop that sucker out, and you throw it away because you don't want it. But you've got essentially the exact same thing that this is. Um, this is the Y8, the Y7, discontinued for the newer model. It just doesn't have the quick charge 3.0 USB adapter, which is fine because you don't need it. Um, I have a couple other products of theirs. I have um, their power station, like their power hub. It's like this sil like coffee can-esque cylinder um, with a dome light on it. It's got, I think, like 12 USB ports in it, um, maybe eight actual um, plugs that you can plug normal things into. I have my iMac and everything in the bedroom running off of that. Solid. Everything's great. Um, so if you're looking to wireless charge, or not wireless charge, I keep saying wireless and I don't know why. Um, probably because there's a wireless charger right here next to me. That's a whole other story. Um, if you're looking to fast charge, go Aki. I hear Anchor is another really great brand. Um, everyone always is either talking about one or the other. Um, Aki's my brand now. I've told everybody about it, and hopefully they're they're buying it too. Hopefully you will check their stuff out. Um, definitely worth it. Wireless charging, on the other hand, is slow. Um, only certain wireless chargers. Apple um, does their wireless fast charging, um, which is only like 7.9 watts. Super slow compared to wireless fast charge. So if you're going to get a wireless charger, it's super convenient for a top off. If you're going to like set it on your nightstand overnight, something like that. I have a handful of them. I got one free from work. I purchased a um, one of those like $90 Samsung stand up ones. Uh, it was on Amazon's deal today for 20 bucks. I when I originally bought my 10, I purchased the the Mophie, and it is one of the two that Apple uh, supports for their wireless fast charging. Neither of these will this these phones won't charge as fast as a Samsung on a wireless charger. It's it is what it is, and you know maybe it's because batteries blow up. I don't know. Probably not that. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. I hope you don't have too many more questions or any questions about um, fast charging for the iPhones and the iPad. If you do, drop a comment below. Um, like the video, subscribe, I'd appreciate it.